Getting two for the price of one here. Double decker buses and a load of Union flags. So they're all the way down Regent Street. A big thank you to key workers, that's for sure. And as many flags as you can shake a stick at. On our way to the Macintosh shop, just seeing this cool, cool clock. It's got George of the Dragon there, so any sovereign lovers will recognise uh, recognise Saint George slaying the dragon. Really cool. So it's just in a just in a shopping centre. They don't have this in Middlesbrough, that's for sure. Very, very posh indeed. And hopefully we will find a very, very posh court shop to buy our Macintoshes. So you might be able to just see the sign for Regent Street and I'm hoping that down there is the shop we are looking for. So we found the proper posh coat shop, so if you get caught in the rain, if you're a bit cold, you, you need a poncho, you need to find your way into London, just off Regent Street, for the official Macintosh shop. And it shows all their goods there. And that is where we're at. So, not to show what they did to deserve their own coin. Now nah, I'm only kidding. There's a sign here that says that they've decided to temporarily close the store to help with the current issues in the world at the moment. But you can still buy online. There's a gadget at the uh, at the back there on a bike. I don't think it's Olympic cycling. No, I can't quite see what he's doing. Is he taking a selfie of himself? Not sure. But see, hopefully they've got a little bit more in store than them two Macintoshes there. No prices either, but I bet they're a few quid. Yeah, Lady M said if you're going into this shop, you don't need to look at the price ta tags. Wow. You got any interesting facts, Lady M, about Macintoshes? So, the brand Macintosh is named after the Scottish chemist Charles Macintosh, who was born in 1766 and died in 1843. He invented the waterproof material that bears his name. The fabric used for Macintosh was made waterproof by cementing two thicknesses of its two thicknesses of it together with rubber dissolved in a coal tar solution. There you go. Sounds good to me.